Hi, this is Dr. Ray Tari. Welcome to another SolidWorks tutorial. Uh, this is a very short tutorial uh, talking about exploded view. In previous lectures, we show you how to assemble uh, parts. For example, we talk about this flashlight. And you know how to assemble it together, but sometimes you want to send it to someone and you want to explain how this has been assembled or how to disassemble uh, a machine or a complex uh, mechanism with several parts. So in that case you need to use a feature called exploded view. Uh, to start you can go to feature manager right here and so you click on it and then you go here and you can have here uh, a new exploded view so I go right click and then left click so this menu opens and it's very simple and handy in SolidWorks to disassemble uh, features so you select on one piece here like for example this piece here and then what you get here, XYZ axis, and all you do, you select what direction you want to move. In this case, you left click and move this piece here. As you can see, there is a ruler in the back. And then if I want to move it in more than one direction, click again. And now I can maybe bring it in this direction. So we continue the same thing. You take off one battery. So select the battery, get it out, select the second one, take it out to this point here, and then maybe you want to do it this way and this way. So next thing would be this button here, you bring it here. Go the other side here and simply take off the clip. You have these two uh, buttons here, one goes this way, and this one goes this way. So now uh, let's remove the ring, the bulb, and the uh, reflector. Now, if you see that I did it incorrectly, the reflector should have come first here. So you can simply go here, select both of them, or select this one here, delete it. And now I just um, delete that, now I can move it back here, and now it's here. So, and then I move this piece out. So you're selecting uh, this piece going all the way up, take the clip this way and finally last but not least you want to remove this piece. So you have done with all of them, so you have 18 basically parts uh, removed, you select OK and this is what is happening now uh, you can simply go here in default you go to exploded view and you right click and you collapse it you come out one uh, and then all you can use exploded view is all exploded or you can go here and says animate collapse and that's the part that we uh, just can see and magnified a little bit here so you go here, uh, right click, animate the collapse, 
and you see what's happening is it just brings it back together and it gives a very tangible sense of how it works here see how these pieces are all moved from each others so if you want to have it only one way so you just go and select this feature here it's only one way so this is both ways go back and forth and this is repeating the same thing we can do it faster as well so if I do that it's going to be much faster you see or I can repeat that as many times as I want or I do it in reverse so and then of course uh, you can stop it here and you can go and you can save this on a file that you can show the animation you can put it on your uh, PowerPoint so you have to follow a few features here so this is the frame per second and save it here so I have one already I put it yes and then goes to uh, another menu here and it shows uh, you can press key every event or not so you can have the quality of uh, your uh, video you have different format here it's on a compressed full frame uh, and if I press it OK here so it might take a few seconds you can see that already up to here and whenever I'm done here, so this is only two seconds, two seconds, and then it goes back here. I can stop at when I'm done here. So two seconds to assemble, two seconds to disassemble. And I can stop it right at this point. And this is already saved here. So I can go and I can uh, watch that uh, video. So this is as far as uh, we explain on basic uh, exploded view. There are other features actually can define the path of explosion. In this case, only of X, Y, Z can make it uh, geometry. Can make it curve. Uh, can change the angle perhaps of your camera there are several features that you can use but for the basic uh, tutorial on exploded view I would say this is sufficient uh, thank you very much